The NFL draft begins tonight in downtown Cleveland. Now, unlike last year's virtual ceremony, this year's draft is welcoming a limited number of fans and prospects in person. 50,000 people are also allowed in each day with separate zones for vaccinated fans set up around the main stage. Compare that to the 600,000 fans which flooded Nashville in 2019. It's still quite a difference. Sports director John Schaefer joining us now. Hundreds of prospects are hoping to make it big in the NFL. Among them, though, John, a familiar your face to many Hawkeye fans. Yeah, that's right, Stephanie. It's every college football player's dream to hear their name called in the NFL draft. It doesn't matter if it's round one or round seven. Tonight, that dream becomes a reality for 32 players, and this is just the start. There's certainly a handful of Hawkeyes and Cyclones that should be called by the end of Saturday night. At the top of the draft board is Hawkeye Davion Nixon. Nixon played in 21 total games for Iowa over the last two seasons with an incredible junior year here in 2020. He had five and a half sacks, 14 tackles for a loss, and 22 solo tackles. Even more impressive was this pick six against Penn State. Nixon has been projected as a likely second round pick, but could very well sneak into the late first if someone really likes him. Yahoo ranks him as the number 42 overall prospect and the number two defensive tackle in this class. High praise for a guy that was somewhat off the radar after his sophomore season. Now, while all eyes are on the guys making the move from college to NFL here in central Iowa, still plenty of interest around what the Cyclones will do this fall. They should be a top 10 team, something Matt Campbell says he has never really strived for or even thought about. Every season and every year is defined by who you are at the end and not who you are at the beginning. And I think it's fun where you have a veteran group that understands that and you have a coaching staff that understands that. And man, doesn't really get wrapped up in the noise, doesn't get wrapped up in the good or the bad. And all they do is just keep staying the course. And I think that's what I envision. And tonight at 10 here on Local 5, a story of one Creston athlete who had to close the door on his two favorite sports, but open the door on another and is embracing every chance he gets to compete this spring. And we're not done talking football yet. Two Hawkeye legends are part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame Centennial class in 2020. Duke Slater, University of Iowa lineman who was part of the 1921 championship team with the Hawkeyes and became the first black lineman in the NFL was inducted and joining him is Alex Karras. He's finally in. He played D-line for the Detroit Lions from 1958 to 1962 and again from 64 to 70. And Stephanie, clearly a busy day in the sports world and as if draft day wasn't already crazy enough, Aaron Rodgers rumored to be unhappy in Green Bay and possibly ending up in San Francisco, Denver. Every fan out there seems to have a say. I think you had a good question though. Yeah, where does Shailene Woodley want to live? Better question, yes, absolutely. They're expected to be getting married here later on this year. So uh, we'll see where Aaron ends up or if he just stays put. Every Packer fan just wanted whispered under their breath for me to just be quiet <laughs> about that one, right? All right, John, thanks. We'll hear more from you tonight.